greatest tight ends to ever play the game. The greatest in my book. Today. Well, oh, now you can you. catch him hosting NFL kickoff on Fox on Sunday and Thursdays. Also, he's got an awesome podcast called Wide Open. Tony, good to see hey you. Hey, guys. Welcome. It's I, cold out here. Right? right? Wait, Tony oh, walked oof. in and he says, that fire's real. Like, oh, that's real. He thought it was a prop. But <laughs> wait a minute. He played so many years in Kansas City where it gets real cold. It means nothing, Mario. I'm soft. <laughs> that's, okay. that's, that's all there is You're to it. You're a California, California heart. kid. I love that you had your uh, your not now your grandma right yeah. now. 101, man. That's 101. Special. And still got it, too. Man. You know, I always I said it during my speech. My grandmother gave me the best advice for football when I first got in the NFL. She said, honey, you catch that ball and you run like hell. <laughs> that's the best. And that's all I ever did when I tried to catch the ball. So. What does she think of your career? Oh, she's, she's probably my biggest fan. Like, and I told her, it's 101, so it's hard for her to get around sure. a little bit. And I was like, Grandma, we're going to the Hall of Fame. You know, you don't have to come. She's like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> uh, I'm coming. Wow. And so, yeah, she still, she loves, she's so proud of me. And, and you know, kid, um, I, and I'm really proud, too, because Tony's one of the, the very few Latinos that are in the uh, Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Really? So, I mean, that's an yeah. extra special. Yeah, yeah, and you know, Anthony Munoz. Yeah. He, when I was growing up, I was yeah. watching Anthony Munoz, offensive lineman, Bengals, probably one of the great, greatest tackles in history. Yeah. And seeing him as a kid and saying, hey, you know, there's somebody with a similar last name as me, yeah. and it's something I can do. So, yeah, I'm very proud of that. And, and then I'm proud, I'm proud, too, because he mentioned Munoz, who's considered, like, the greatest lineman, and then uh, the greatest tight end. Both happen to be Latinos. 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 Exactly. And I want to brag, both of you, I just found out from Mario as well, both of you are Hall of Fame fathers, or what's the award? Yeah, father. Father, father, of the father of the year. Father of the year. <laughs> what is this honor? This is so cool. Was, like, how do they decide? I don't know how they You ask my kids, they're like, wait, I didn't get a vote <laughs> on this one. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, I yeah, got it last year. One of the coolest things that ever happened to me, uh, be, and I take it so serious. You know, kids are just the best. When you have a, a child, I have four of them, 18, 11, 9, and 4. Oh, so and funny. so I get tested from all yeah. these different yeah. angles. Uh, and it teaches you patience. Te teaches Ooh, you. Patience. Look at your pancakes. Look at my pancakes. Oh, is that from the oh, thing? Oh, so me making the pancakes for the kids. So, yeah, I love it. The kids are the greatest example of how to be. They're fearless. Uh, they make friends with everybody. They go to bed when they're tired. They don't eat, overeat. I'm yep. like, I, I love them. I said at the at the speech, they're like flowers. Uh, you 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 water them. You, you, you put the, the fertilizer, you give them food, you give them sun, but they have to open on their own. And uh -huh. I love watching them open it up on their own. How was your speech? Was it as good as that one? Yeah, well, not, not as, uh, <laughs> not <laughs> after hearing that, it's really not. Yeah, I didn't have as colorful of a metaphor, but it was, a, I think, I, and cool. I think Tony can attest, like, no matter what sort of accolades you receive, when you get an award on your character, yeah. it's like a father, it makes it feel very, yeah. very special. Um, and, you know, having my wife there and my kids, it made it a lot of fun. And coincidentally, we both have Nikos. You got, yeah, Nico you got a little Nico, too. No, his Nico's a big Nico. Big Nico now. Big <laughs> I Nico got a little now. Nico. Yep, yep. Uh, Super Bowl's coming up. Y'all yeah. going to be, of course, down there in Miami. How are we feeling about J-Lo doing that? Uh, I can't. I can't. Well, you know, we had Alex Rodriguez on the show yep. last week. Asked him how J-Lo's feeling. It, I, apparently, I guess she cried when she got the information that she's going to be on the halftime show. Such a huge platform for, for everybody. Oh, you yeah. know, And I'm looking forward. First of all, I'm always, I always tell the NFL, you should have the uh, the, the Super Bowl in Miami every single Every year. year. Exactly. That's we agree. You know the weather's going to oh, be good. It's a great city. So much fun, too. So much fun. Uh, exactly. I, can't, I can't wait to see what she does at that halftime show. It's going to be great. So I want to talk about your podcast, oh, yeah. man, because this is great. I, I like hearing the opportunities when you get to really speak. As a lot of uh, athletes, as we were saying, mm -hmm. most of the time they'll have certain canned answers. But when you have a platform where you can really like give point of views, talk about what you want, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's exciting for you, right? It's it's actually, it's great. That's Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba, yeah. David Spade has come on. I had Michael Strahan, of course. Y'all are uh, so Beyonce. good together. But really what it's about is I, I love bringing people on that have done these extraordinary things and, and picking their brain and seeing, okay, why you? and how and what are the tricks what are the lessons that you learned along the way what tell me about your down times and how you came out of it and then presenting that to the people that want to listen to it and then help them level up help people say you know what i can do what they've done or at least something similar to something that something inspirational so it, uh, and then have some fun these people that come on here they're they're true movers and shakers it's who's fun who's your talk dream to them. guest you know oprah you got to get oprah <laughs> on I would love to have Oprah. You've, right? you got to connect to Oprah. I think Obama would be great. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to have Will Smith on Will, there. Well, Big Willie. Just, you know, I, I just, it doesn't matter. I just want people that have are inspirational sure. 
because uh, I want to be inspired, but then also the people that listen, I know they want to be inspired and, and get better. You can continue to learn from them too, and at the same time, of course, you're still uh, doing your thing over on Fox and yeah. having fun with the guys right there. Yeah. So I got to get your picks, man. I know, I know there's still a lot of season left, but who are you liking if you had to pick right now coming out of the NFC and coming out of the AFC? Are you allowed to give your picks like this? Well, you know, opinion of the week. <laughs> I, know. I got to actually. Uh, I'm gonna go with the out of the NFC. I'm gonna go with the Saints for right now, really? okay. uh, or the 49ers, but probably the Saints. And then uh, I'm gonna go with my Kansas City Chiefs. Ah. And I'm tired of the New England Patriots. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love them as that. a team and as people. Tom Brady, Belichick, right. greatest of all time. All these mix guys. It up. Let's, Let's mix, mix it up. Let's mix it up. Man. Come on, Chiefs. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for coming, brother. Uh, great, great to see you. See you. Thank Big you. thanks to Tony. Ah. You can of course, catch him hosting NFL Kickoff on Fox on Sunday and Thursday nights. And don't forget to check out his wide open podcast.